Yo, what up you guys? I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the lightning effect in Photoshop, how to create your own lightning. You, could, I believe you could add it to your own photos and stuff, which is pretty sick. Um, I have the text um, right here. I'll put it on the side of the video, of course, or, you know, HD, of course, you know, all that crap. And, um, I typed it, of course, just in case I mess up. I can come back here, you know, but I don't think I'll mess up. I think I should be good, but I'm just showing you guys here. I will have the directions on the side if needed. So what you want to do first is create a new one. Um, I suggest 800 by 800 unless you're editing a photo with it or anything. You know, there you go. Let me just, you know, you know I'm gonna leave it right here actually. Uh, I'm gonna change mine to about 88 maybe. Uh, maybe a little smaller. I'll put a 85. Maybe smaller. Uh, no, I'm put freaking 78. There we go. I just, you know, I'm not what I want. You do gradient tool, put G or that. Um, the default one, it, well, I don't have any more, is uh, white to black. You want to change it to black to white to get the, well, I, I don't know about the other way, but this is the way I do it. This is the way I learned, so I don't know. But uh, what you want to do is drag it across and hold shift to make it straight. It's about, uh, maybe, you know, like almost all the way. If you see the grayish is right here, you want the gray where you want the bolt. So, yeah. So now you go to filters, um, render, difference clouds. And holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, nice. oh it's because I had that. Oh shit. Hold on. I guess you do not want to have this your color, so you gotta have it white and black, I think. Alright, let's try it again. There you go. You want it to look like this. Then you click Control I to invert. So it's inverted. And then you can click Control L, or you go to Image, Adjustments, and Layer, or whatever it is, Levels. And I'm gonna change mine to about. Two or two forty three maybe, so you can see the bolt. You, know, you, you just mess with it right here. Just grab this and drag it along how you want it. I usually just like a stand out maybe, but you know, cuteness. You know, and that is how you make the bolt. And to make more, I'll show you guys. It's very, very, very easy. Create a new layer, and if you see this new layer, see through. So get the gradient tool again, which you should already have. Do not hold shift this time and angle it so. You can see the middle of this line will probably be where this bolt connects on the top, you know. Like, if there happens to be a bolt going through the middle of this, about right here maybe. And, um, you can just click Control F to do the filter again. And if you see the bolt is where it's more angle, right where the you want it to be, if you want it like this. And then Control I to invert, Control L to get to here again. And you can go to 243, which I do, or else. I'll do a little fuzzier, I guess. I'll just do this for once. And to be able to have them layered, do not merge them or anything. While selecting layer one, go to this and change the screen. And you can see both now. And I guess I'll just create one more just to make it look good. I'll do this sort of quick. Alright, control F, control I, control L. Um about right here and turn this one to screen also so now you see them all together now merge these control E if you don't know and then if you want to change the color of it which my old tutorial was blue thunder which is really lightning so I sort of got that mixed up but let's go to color balance control B either one and turn fix it till you like it you know like all these colors you know like this this is more of mine and also, if you want to do it to make it look sick, which I um, did not too long ago, was um, where does it? Where is it? Plastic wrap, I think. Let's see, if this is it. Just click OK. It sort of makes it look sort of sicker, I guess. It looks pretty sick, I guess. Um, probably a couple filters you can actually do. Um, let's see. Actually, I'm not gonna take you through all this crap because this is way too much. I'll just show you a quick little view of them all. Even this sort of looks, it looks a little sick, not the best though. But you know, there's a lot of crap you can do to your photos on Photoshop CS4. And then of course you can save this to whatever you want. You know, put some text in here. Like, I don't know why my computer does this whenever I click T, it always gets slow. You know, like, type, you know, like, come on now. Ah, oh, it's black. 
black on black is not really worth it much right now. Uh, let's see, turn this to white actually. So, you know, you could uh, you could edit this how you want it. Change the font size, font to like you know whatever you want to do. Put it up here, put it down here. You could actually probably make a cloud up here too. I haven't tried yet, but that's all I gotta show you. This is the tutorial of making. This is well blue lightning, but you could change it to whatever color or whatever you want. I believe you could add the thunder or lightning or whatever to pictures. Like I have not tried. I'll try later. Put on the side, you know. That's all I gotta show you. So everybody, peace out and please subscribe. Peace.